I teach at University Extension um, for two different programs, the CLAD through CTEL program and the BILA, which stands for Bilingual Authorization. Um, I have taught all eight courses from the beginning. I kind of alternate. Um, so BILA stands for Bilingual Authorization and CLAD through CTEL is um, California Teachers of English Learners. So those are the courses I teach alternating. Um, this quarter I'm teaching survey of bilingual issues and assessment for English learners. Well, I got interested in teaching when I was in fifth grade. I had the same teacher for fifth and sixth grade, Mr. McMillan. He's still very fondly in my heart. Um, and from that day on, I just always wanted to be a teacher. When I started college, and had to choose a major and kept studying, I never changed. That's just what I did. Um, my first year of teaching, um, I didn't know what an English learner was. At that time, there was no training in the 80s. Went back to school, got my bilingual, first I learned Spanish, and then I got my bilingual authorization. And that's been my 34 years of education working with English learners. My best advice for those that are teachers or want to become teachers is, first of all, be flexible because there's always interruptions. <laughs> there's always something else going on. Second is continue your own learning. I show your kids that you love to learn and continue to learn. That's really important. And third, get to know your students and their backgrounds because that's going to help you be a better teacher and help those children succeed. I think looking at me, um, if they didn't know me, uh, they wouldn't know I spoke Spanish. <laughs> well, I enjoy teaching both the CLAD and the BILA courses, but I really get joy, feel joy teaching the BILA courses because I see teachers that have been teachers that are now deciding they want to become bilingual teachers or dual immersion teachers, and they understand and value their language. I can see a shift from the beginning of the courses to the end where they say, yeah, that wasn't valued when I was a child or I always wanted to hide my Spanish and now I don't need to and you know, or my cultural identity. So I get a lot of joy teaching those courses. I think number one, the first thing that teachers can take away is that they're going to focus on their students' assets and not deficits. So if they go, if they go to a place where this child can do this really well and their cultural background and their language um, that's the first thing. The second thing building on that is for English learner students, bilingual students, they need to celebrate that they know another language um, and that being bilingual has many, many benefits, cognitive, social, other benefits. So I think teachers go away saying, oh, okay, we can, I can do this. I can instill this in my students and they feel it more themselves. And I think the third thing they can take away is that California has in the last few years really updated their legislation, their standards, their programs for English learners. And we're on a really positive place uh, right now. And they're gonna be right in the midst of that if they participate. I think it's gonna be a really great thing. Okay, my two truths and a lie in any order. Number one, I have four children and six grandchildren. Number two, I spent two years in Spain learning Spanish. And number three, I started my teaching career teaching sixth grade at age 20. Do you, can you guess the lie? The lie is that I did not spend two years in Spain learning Spanish. I spent a year in Guatemala learning Spanish. <laughs> it was awesome. It's a beautiful country. Thanks so much for watching the video. I've enjoyed talking to you about the CLAD through CTEL and BILA programs. And you're free to email me and ask any questions. And I look forward to seeing you in class. Bye.